Welcome to Know Your Doosan. Welcome to Know Your Doosan. I'm Mark. And today, we're going to cover a topic that so many of you have asked for, tool life management. It's a great feature that allows users to maximize tool usage, set limits for tools before they need to be changed or resharpened, and also set up tool groups. You will notice behind me, I have the new IHMI control on this DNM 4500. If you're watching this video and you think, I don't have an IHMI control, don't worry. I'm going to show you how to set up tool life management on the legacy controls as well. Let's start with the IHMI control. On the main control page, you will notice the tool manager icon. You can tap this icon and it will open up a page that starts with an overview. Right now, it's blank but we are going to fill it in as we go. First, I'm going to press the edit icon. Then I'm going to scroll over one page and press the add tool key. And then I'm going to press the group key. Now a screen will pop up that asks for the group number and the tool number. Here, we are setting up our first tool group and the corresponding tools that go with it. So I'm going to put a one in my group box and a one in my tool number box. Now press the OK icon. I have just made tool group one and designated tool one as my first tool in this group. Now let's say I want to add another tool to this tool group. For this example, let's say it's tool number five. I'm going to press the tool icon. I'm going to insert a five here and press the OK soft key. Now tool one and tool five are assigned to tool group one. You can repeat those steps for additional groups and tools to fit your machining needs. Now that you have set up your tool groups, you will want to name it. For today's example, I'm just going to call this three quarter inch end mill. So just tap the box and type in your desired text. The next thing we need to do is address each individual tool within the tool group. To do this, simply tap the cancel icon and scroll over to the T-code number that you want to edit. Next, arrow over to the soft key that says individual settings and select that. You will now see a series of boxes. Our group number is one. Our tool name is three quarter inch in mill. Next, you have tool life count type. You can set this to count or time. Today, I'm going to set this to count. The next box is tool life counter, which is how many times the tool has been used. The next box is maximum tool life, and this is where you set the maximum number of times that tool can be used. Once that number is reached, the machine will start using the next available tool in the tool group. Today, I'm setting the tool life counter to zero and my maximum usage to 1000. Next is tool image. You can upload a picture of your tool from here. Simply double tap the box and a screen will pop up asking you which image you would like to select. You will notice at the bottom of the screen, you can choose from an external source like your USB, or you can choose a folder if you have your network connected to your machine. Today, I'm just going to use my USB memory and select a three quarter inch end mill picture from there. I will press the external icon and the pictures from my USB memory will populate. I will select the three quarter inch end mill and select OK. Now my picture is populated in the top right of my individual settings page. Last, there are boxes that you can add notes for yourself or your operator to reference. All you have to do is press the operation memo icon. A new window pops up and allows you to select which box you want to type your memo into. You have up to five boxes to choose from. Today, I'm going to choose box one and type in inspect flutes before using, and then press the green OK icon. You will notice that the note populates in box one and notes the date and time that the memo was created. So we have set up the tool life for this entire tool group. Now, you will notice we have a tool tree that is created over on the left side of our individual tool settings page. So let's go through this real quick so you know what you're looking at. 
The first number under my tool group name is the tool order number. So these populate as one, two, three, etc. as you add tools to the tool group. Just remember, this is not your T-code. So here, you just see your group number and T-code. If you want to see any notes on this tool, you can press the switch focus icon and toggle between seeing the notes and not seeing the notes. Next in the tree is the tool. Here we see our tool life status and your compensation numbers for height and diameter. In this case, they are both one because I am using tool one. Your tool length, tool wear, tool radius, and radius wear are located here as well. Next, you have tool type. Double tap this and select the corresponding type of tool. I'm going to select flat end mill tool. Number of teeth is four, Tool attached position is one. This is just the orientation of the tool itself. You can add in a model number of your tool for reference. And again, you can upload a picture just like we did previously when we were setting up our tool group. Then you can add a comment for this particular tool. Last choice on this page is the holder icon in your tree. Here, you can assign a holder model number add an image of the tool holder the same way we added an image of the tool and a tool holder shape. Congratulations, you just set up the tool life of your first tool and your first tool group on your IHMI control. You can now set up multiple tools within a group and multiple groups to aid in using tool life management on your machine. You're probably thinking, now that I have my tool life and tool groups set up, how do I call these up in my program? That is a great question. And I'm going to cover that at the end of this video. First, I want to explain how to set up tool life management and tool groups on the legacy FANUC controls. How it is used in a program is the same on both controls. The legacy NC controls from FANUC use a different procedure to assign tool life and organize tool groups. And we're going to cover that right now. With the legacy NC controls, the tools are classified into groups and tool life is set for each group. When a tool exceeds the preset number of times used or times set, then the next tool in that group is selected. Once all the tools are used, an alarm is generated to let the operator know that the tools must be changed and the tool expiration must be reset. You can do all of this by writing a short program that assigns how many times we want to use a tool and which tools belong to a particular tool group. Or we can enter the information on the tool life page on the control. So let me circle back around to the setup of how your machine counts the usage of the tools. Parameter 6800 bit two. If this parameter is set to zero, the machine counts each time the particular tool is put into the spindle. If the parameter is set to a one, it counts duration or time of the tool used in minutes. You can also set this on the tool life page on the control, and we will take a look at that page after we talk about how to set the tool life management with a program. So the next thing we need to do is write that short program to set up our tools. I have already written one, and as you can see, it's pretty simple to set up. Here, I'm going to show a short example of setting up two tool groups with four different tools. G10L3 starts my tool management registration. P001L200 tells the machine this is my first tool group and every tool in this group is going to be used 200 times each. The next two lines just call my tool numbers and their corresponding height and diameter offsets to be used. P002L500 sets up group two and tells the machine each tool will be used 500 times. Those next two lines are just tool three and tool four with their corresponding height and diameter offsets to be used. G11 cancels the registration cycle and M30 ends the program. The last thing we have to know is how to reset the counter once it's reached the end of its count and has been replaced. First, I want you to press the offset hard key. Then, I want you to press the down arrow soft key two times and you should see a soft key labeled Tool Life. Press that and you have found your way to the Tool Life platform. Now you will notice 
that the tool life is set to what we programmed previously. If you have more than two tool groups, you can enter that tool group number and press number search, and the tool group information for that tool group will be displayed. Here, you can highlight the count and clear the current count of the active tool, and also clear your expired conditions in mass if you have replaced all of your tools that have expired. Simply press the clear soft key and then the execute soft key to clear all of the statuses of the expired tools. If you highlight the count box within the tool group and press the edit soft key, the screen will change to show you all of the tools within the tool group. Here, you can delete tools from the group and you can clear statuses of individual tools. Let's press the MDI hard key and simply press the state soft key. Then press the clear soft key to clear the status. Or you can press the skip soft key to cause the machine to skip this tool within the tool group. Finally, you can insert new tools into the group. Simply enter the tool number you want to use. For example, 08 and press the insert soft key to add it into the group. Remember to add the H and D codes accordingly. So for tool eight, these would also be H8 and D8. Believe it or not, it's just that simple. We just walked through every possible way to set up tool life management. If you have the new IHMI control, you know how to set up your tool life. And if you have a legacy control, you can set it up with a program or you can go to the tool life page and set up tools there. So last but not least, I know you're thinking, how do I put this in my program? How do I use these tools now that I have them set up? There are two main things you have to change in your program to execute using tool life management. The first is your tool call from your tool group. Here, I'm going to call the first available tool in tool group one. That call is T1001M6. Your T call is parameter 6810 plus the group number. So my parameter is set to 1000 plus group one, and my T call is T1001. Just for reference, if I had a tool group eight, that T call would be T1008. The only other change to your program is using H99. Normally when calling tool number one, we would use a line of code similar to G43H1Z5. When using tool groups, you always want to use H99. The reason we use H99 is pretty easy to understand. If tool one in our tool group expires, the machine will look for the second tool in the group and it would need to use its offset information, not the offset values from the previous tool. H99 allows the control to use the offset information that you set up in your tool management registration program. The program you see on your screen is just a sample program for you to reference while setting up your own tool groups. I know that we have covered a lot of material today and I've given you a lot of information to consume, but now you are equipped to set up your DuSan Machining Center with tool groups and keep your production running strong, even when one of those tools runs out of tool life. I really wanna thank you for watching and keep machining with Dusan.